Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, it's me, the third boy. And here today's video, we will... Hi guys, it's me, the third boy. And here today's video, we will talk about the loss of exponents. May mga videos na ako about loss of exponents, pero gusto ko lang siyang i para magkaroon tayo ng mas maayos na interaction while discussing this kind of topic. And by the way guys, this kind of topic, loss of exponent, is very important when you are studying algebra. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So I have here seven different loss of exponents na dapat matutunan para maging okay yung basics or fundamentals nyo sa algebra. First, we have the product law. In the product law, if you have here x raised to m times x raised to n, when you multiply these two kind of expression here, yung base natin is x, and then yung exponents natin are m and n. So to simplify this kind of expression, x raised to m times x raised to n, all you need to do is to copy the base, if they are the same, same base, copy the base, and add their exponents. So the answer here is x raised to m plus n. Now, Let's move on with the second law. We have the quotient law. For the quotient law, we are given here x raised to m over x raised to n. Madali naman siya ma-differentiate kasi pag product law, multiplication. Kapag quotient law, division syempre. So anong ginagawa dito? As you can see, yung base natin is x and then the exponents are m and n. So what you need to do here is to copy the base if they are the same which is x, and then subtract the exponents. So dito, sa, uh, between the two laws, we have the product law and quotient law. Ang tatandaan nyo, kapag ganito nangyayari, kapag product law, add the exponents. Kapag quotient law, subtract the exponents. So our answer here is x raised to m minus n. Now for number 3, we have the third law, which is the power of a power. So we are given here, single base lang tayo ha, x raised to m raised to n. So meron ng variable or meron ng exponent si x, yung base natin which is m, and then it is also raised by another exponent. And what you will do here is you need to multiply the two exponents. That's why the answer here is x raised to m n. Don't worry guys, later on I will give you examples na pwede natin i-apply yung different laws na meron tayo. Now let's move on with item number 4. Power of a product. Power of a product. Dito sa power of a product, medyo may similarity sila ng power of a power. Pero dito kasi, dalawa na yung mismo na, dalawa na yung mismo base natin. We have x ra xy raised to m. Wherein, all you need to do here is, you need to distribute the, the exponent m with exponents of x and y. Originally guys, meron tong exponent na 1 dito. So what will happen is you need to multiply the exponent outside the parentheses. Parang ganito lang din. So 1 times m is x raised to m. And then 1 times m for the y variable, you have y raised to m. So later on, pag-uusapan natin yan. Now let's have the fifth one. Power of a quotient. Halos palayas lang sila. Ito nga lang in quotient form. You have your x over y raised to m. Or in dinistribute lang natin yung exponent na m in which it gives us the answer of x raised to m over y raised to m. And lastly, the zero exponent rule. Dito, uh, sa zero exponent rule natin, tandaan nyo lang na ano, any number, variable, expression that is raised by zero, except by zero, is equal to one. So kahit ang number expression, it is mo kay zero, that is equal to 1. Pwede na nga lang kung 0 raised to 0. Ibang usapan na yan. Okay? So, for number 7, we are given here the, the seventh law, negative exponent rule. Sir, ano pong gagawin natin? Ano pong ibig sabihin ng negative exponent rule? May mga given kasi na, na ng setup, uh, you are given an exponent which is negative and to simplify that or to finally express that into uh, simplest form, you need to convert that exponent into a positive exponent. So dito, ito ha, para mas may imagine nyo. We have x raised to negative m. And then since this is the whole number to, meron siyang express natin siya bilang um, fraction. x raised to negative m over 1. As you can see, 
yung ating expression na merong negative exponent ay nasa numerator. To make it positive, kailangan dalhin mo siya sa denominator. That's why the answer here is 1 over x raised to m. From negative exponent, it became positive. Punta naman tayo sa next scenario natin. Ito naman, fractional form, 1 over x raised to negative m. Negative exponent, para maging positive siya, ilagay mo sa numerator yung expression mo from the denominator. So, para ma-experience you or para ma-apply natin yung different laws na minention ko, dito, let's have this kind of examples. We have here x raised to 3 times x raised to 5. Now, in this kind of problems, kailangan, uh, pag nakita niyo pa lang yung given, you can easily identify which law is applicable. Kasi hindi pwedeng iba at ibang law ang gagamitin natin. Dapat kung ano yung pinaka, kung ano applicable sa kanya, yun lang yung gagamitin natin. We have here x raised to 3 times x raised to 5. So as you can see, in product form, tapos ang i-apply natin dito ay yung product law. We're in same base, okay? x cubed times x raised to the fifth, x raised to the fifth power. What you need to do is to copy the base, which is x, and then add these exponents. This is 3 plus 5. So the final answer here is simply x raised to 8. Ganun na kasi yung gamitin yung ating product law. Pero huwag yung isipin na ano, may hirap na to. Basic pa lang itong ginagawa natin. Let's move on with item number 2. We are given 2 raised to 3 times 2 raised to 2. So, sir, paano po yan? Number na po yung base natin. Okay lang yan. Base pa rin yan. So, same base tayo. What you need to do is to copy your base, which is 2. Then add exponents. 3 plus 2. What will happen is to simplify your exponent, that is 2 raised to 5. But, kung ang yung base na yun ay isang um, number na, you need to simplify 2 raised to 5. And that is the same as 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. And this will give you the answer of 32. Ganun siya guys, nag work So, for number 1 and 2, we use the product law. And let's move on with item number 3. Wherein, we will apply the quotient law. Parehas na ng pattern. Okay? Quotient law. Same base. Copy your base. X. And then, subtract the exponents. So this is 5 minus 2. And to simplify your exponents, this will give you the answer of X raised to 3. And this is the answer for item number 3. Ganun na siya now, let's move on with item number 4. For number 4, we have x raised to 3 raised to 2. Base with an exponent and raised by another exponent, we will apply the power of a power. For in, you need to multiply the two exponents. Copy the base, x, and then multiply these two exponents. 3 times 2, that is 6. And this is the answer for item number 4. Let's move on with item number 5, x raised to 5, raised to 2. Parehas lang sila. Iniba ko lang yung ating, ano, yung ating base dito, which is z, ah sorry, z raised to 5, raised to 2. So ang base natin is z, copy your base, and then multiply the two exponents, that is 10. Now let's have item number 6. For number 6, we are given here, x squared over y squared raised to 4. So, ang pattern nito, ito parehas siya ng ano, power of a quotient. So, we will use power of a quotient here, wherein we will simply multiply the exponent outside the parentheses to the exponents of the different bases na meron tayo. So, yung basic nito, yung step-by-step -step process is this. You have x squared times 4 over y squared times 4. And individually, parang gumamit tayo ng power of a power. So what will happen here is, this will become x raised to 8 over y raised to 8. Ito din final answer natin for number 6. Next tayo, we have number 7. For number 7, y raised to 0, definitely we will use the 0 exponent rule. And that is equal to 
Why? Number eight. We have six raised to zero. Number raised by zero is also equal to one. And number nine, x raised to negative three. So negative exponent, tandaan, we will use the negative exponent rule. So what will happen is that you need to make this exponent negative. Gamay natin siyang positive. So this is 1 over x raised to 3. And last, we have 1 over y raised to negative 5. The exponent is negative. At yung ating expression ay nasa denominator. And to make it positive, kailangan lagi lang natin siya sa numerator. So the answer here is y raised to 5. Ayan na guys, ito na yung basics natin for the loss of exponents. And syempre, we will upload another video which is the part of this. And I will give you uh, complicated examples wherein we will use uh, two or three different laws in a single given expression. So if meron kang tanong or meron kang request a topic that you want me to discuss within this channel, feel free to comment down below. And syempre, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe but hit the bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gorn. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!